take your art to a new level with Dixie Bell Gemstone Moose. Ken here with Ken's Creations and in today's video we're going to show you how you can use Dixie Bell Gemstone Mousse. If you have not seen this stuff, boy are you missing out. It comes in four beautiful colors. They are one ounce jars. You can get garnet, golden gem, diamond, or amber. And I know one ounce does not seem like a lot, but this stuff packs a punch. It is water-based, highly pigmented, so you don't need to use much, rich, creamy texture, and it is perfect for bling. Now, you do not want to confuse this with the Moonshine Metallics. They are very different. Moonshine Metallics, you can see on the screen on the left, is more of a top coat, and you're going to coat an entire project, where this is highly pigmented, and it is going to highlight finishes. Now, do not let the name Gemstone Moose fool you. It fooled me a bit, and I was way overthinking this product and thinking it was going to be a lot harder to use. It's not. We're going to show you how to use it. But essentially, you just prep an unpainted surface with white lightning or allow Dixie Bell paint to dry completely. You can spread a small amount, and let me stress small amount. A little bit of this goes a long way. You're going to spread a small amount of Gemstone Moose with a brush, sponge or even your finger. Let the gemstone mousse dry for at least 30 minutes and it cures in 24 hours. Before we start testing this, let me set up the paint test for you. We've taken a one gallon paint stick and painted half of it with Dixie Bell cotton, the other half of it with Dixie Bell caviar. We've also taken some wood trim, painted it in both colors and affixed it to the one gallon paint sticks. Now let's get to testing the mousse. Let's see what this product can do. Now you're gonna wanna shake the mousse well before you use it, make sure it's nice and mixed. Open it up and we're gonna start with diamond. Now apply a small amount to your brush. I cannot stress this enough. A little goes a long way. In fact, a pinhead is enough for you to get the effect you're looking for. I'm gonna turn my attention to amber and less is more. In fact, the more amber I put, I could see I wasn't getting the effect that I wanted, that highlighting of metallic color. You can really see this with the golden gem. Now, you can actually use a very small paintbrush or you can use a sponge or even your finger because it's non-toxic. It's a water-based product. Now we're gonna finish with Garnet. This is one of my favorite colors out of all four and it just highlights that wood trim beautifully. But I want to see what the difference was on cotton. It looks great on the caviar, but would it look the same on cotton? So we're gonna try all four colors. Now it dries pretty quickly. In fact, you can dry it with a hair dryer or allow it to air dry for 30 minutes. It cures in 24 hours. And I really like this product because it's eco-friendly, non-toxic, and it's a water-based product. Now, I really put this in high speed because we're essentially just playing the trim. I can tell you right away though, it looks amazing on the caviar. In fact, let's take a closer look. It looks great on both colors, but it shines on darker colors. This is a great product for highlighting. And when I say I did not use a lot, I did not use a lot. In fact, I want to show you a project I recently completed to show you how amazing this product is, I used it during a live to create this Believe in Santa Claus board. On the board, you can see we use Golden Gem and we actually used a little bit of the Garnet. And I want to show you just how amazing this product is and specifically on the Golden Gem, how a little goes a long way. Now, of course, I have sped this up, but you can see I'm not using a ton. I actually just got it from the lid and I'm very gently using a paintbrush and going back to the same gemstone mousse that is on the glass mat and then highlighting this piece of wood that we have painted in charcoal. And I just keep going back to the same mousse and using it and it kept lasting through the entire project. So 
a little bit of this really does go a long way. And look at the highlighting. It's beautiful. In fact, let's take a look at the garnet and how we highlighted a part on the board that said believe. Once again, you will see that I just put a little bit on paper and went back again and used the same garnet mousse to apply on the tag. And look at the shine it gave it with just a little amount. Let's take a closer look at the finished product. This stuff is amazing for highlighting any piece that you really want to bling out and have the gold shine and the garnet. I highly recommend this product to anyone who wants to take their artwork to the next level. If you liked this review, make sure to check out our other Dixie Bell reviews from our paint, paintbrushes, to their stains, mud, the moonshine metallics, even the top coats and glazes. And we would love it if you use our links down below. That helps support our channel, and for that, we thank you. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. In fact, here's some videos you might find interesting. Thanks for watching our review. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and create something magical. Thanks, everyone.